Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are going over the latest stock market news updates that you should know as an investor. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq have pulled back recently, but overall, they have still given investors strong gains over the last few weeks. But even though we see the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 are pulling back recently, we do see some growth momentum happening in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, while stocks like Intel are plummeting right now. You should also know that the core personal assumption expenditures price index came in below 3%, thus hitting a three-year low. And if you didn't know, this is the Federal Reserve's favorite inflation gauge, and that is a good sign for the Fed in the future cutting interest rates, which should increase the overall prices of stocks and lift the general stock market. So this is very good news for investors. Speaking about stocks, we have Amazon in the news today, which is a giant e-commerce company which has a multitude of various subsidiaries underneath them. And the reason that they are in the news today is because they are introducing commercials for their Prime Video platform. Amazon is about to deliver commercials and ads to more than 70 million of their customers, and I don't think that their customers are actually going to like this development, even though this will cause the revenue of Amazon to increase substantially. As of today, Prime Video will begin showing ads, and some analysts believe that this will generate more than $5 billion worth of annual revenue for this company regarding their segment, which would be Prime Video. Now, if you are a current subscriber, you can actually shell out more money to avoid these commercials, which will be aired on Prime Video, and Bank of America analysts actually predict about one-third of their current subscribers will do this, so they will spend more money to avoid the ads. Now, to me, I am not shocked, considering that other streams streaming platforms such as Netflix and Disney Plus also went the ad route to establish greater relationships with advertisers and increase their revenue for their respected streaming segments. This then put pressure on Amazon to shift toward what other streaming giants are doing. But Amazon actually has a huge competitive advantage in this regard. The reason why Amazon has such a large competitive advantage is because they have an abundance of consumer data in which they can actually give their consumers targeted ads to what they were already shopping on Amazon. That's why Amazon is going to use the buying history of their consumers to give them targeted ads regarding items that they actually want to buy. This will lead to more effective marketing by people who are paying Amazon to show their ads, and this will also increase the revenue on Amazon's e-commerce site. Basically, this is a win-win for Amazon because they are going to receive more revenue from their Prime Video segment as well as their e-commerce segment. This will also establish new relationships or build a existing relationships that Amazon has with advertisers. But it does seem that consumers are going to be stuck holding the bag for this one. But I would love to hear your thoughts about this development down below. We also have an update on the Boeing situation. If you didn't know, a Boeing 737 MAX 9 from Alaska Airlines had to make an emergency landing when a door plug flew off mid-flight, and this was a huge safety hazard. This caused the share prices of a multitude of stocks to go down, and that would include the share price of Boeing, Alaska Airlines and a few other airlines which use the Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets. However, I actually used this as an opportunity to buy these companies on weakness, and now we actually got good news, because Alaska Airlines and United Airlines sent the Boeing 737 MAX 9 back into the skies over the weekend, receiving an approval from the FAA as long as those Boeing 737s were inspected before flight. So I would say this is a positive development for those airlines who use the Boeing 737 MAX 9s, and hopefully they will be able to get back on schedule regarding their overall profits and earnings because they said that this was going to hurt their overall earnings, profits, and revenue in regards to the amount of money that they could bring in considering that they grounded their Boeing 737 MAX 9s, meaning that they couldn't give as many flights as they anticipated that they would, and this hurt their overall revenue projections. Luckily, this only went on for about a week or two, so hopefully this did not hurt their financials too harshly. Next, let's talk about the technology giant named Apple. Apple is on the verge of releasing their Apple Vision Pro headsets, which is a mixed reality headset, which will now be available in stores on Friday, February 2nd. And you could even pre-order the Vision Pro for $3,500. Analysts expect a huge surge in demand for this type of product from Apple to where they believe Apple will ship 
between 300,000 and 400,000 units of their Apple Vision Pro headsets. This puts Apple in direct competition with Meta Platforms, who has been in this space for quite a while now, so we're going to have to see these two technology giants really duke it out here. We also see five out of the seven Magnificent Seven stocks, which would include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Meta Platforms, and Google, who will all be delivering their earnings sometime this week, so I'm going to keep you updated on that as well. You should also be aware of two upcoming developments which will impact the stock market. The first one is that the Federal Reserve will wrap up their first meeting of the year on Wednesday. Wednesday. So hopefully we get good news from that. And on top of that, the next thing that you need to pay attention to is that the January jobs report will drop on Friday. So hopefully we get good news there as well. Both of these could either act as a positive catalyst or a negative catalyst for the general stock market. But just know that whatever volatility happens, it will only be temporary volatility and the long-term trajectory of the stock market will climb higher throughout the year of 2024, according to analyst projections. You should also know that this author picks Apple as one of their favorite or artificial intelligence and AI stocks to buy right now. And this is interesting because normally when you think of AI stocks or artificial intelligence stocks, you don't normally think of Apple. But due to the booming demand for artificial intelligence interfaces on various electronic products, Apple is going to take advantage of this. As of right now, Apple is reportedly developing its own generative AI capabilities. In the future, Apple plans to integrate this technology into their iMessage platform and Siri. So investors and consumers of Apple do need to be aware of this. If you didn't know Apple is a giant technology company, but they really are popular regarding their personal laptops and smartphones. Therefore, I think Apple's extremely popular iPhones, once integrated with artificial intelligence capabilities, will also send the share price even higher than it already is. You should also be aware that Apple has strong ties and relationships with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing to get their hands on the most powerful and power-efficient chip processors available on the market right now. So feel free to also look into Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing because they are also a great company company. Other artificial intelligence companies that you should be aware of would include Qualcomm. We've seen a lot of smart money flooding into Qualcomm stock by buying up shares of QCOM, and Qualcomm will be a leading beneficiary of the artificial intelligence trend as it drives demand for more powerful chips, which could expand to new device categories. Currently, Qualcomm is working closely with leading artificial intelligence companies, which would include Microsoft, Meta Platforms, as well as Beidou. Qualcomm is in a very strong position in regards to the smartphone industry, which it already has a very strong foothold in. Qualcomm also produces mobile chips, which are featured in many high-end Android devices and some Apple devices. However, Qualcomm will lose their Apple's licensing business at some point in the near future, which will cause the share price to decrease. But overall, Qualcomm is in a very good position to take advantage of the demand for artificial intelligence. Now, this is the story that I really wanted to get into, and that is regarding SoFi Technologies earnings report. And this has caused the share price to jump by over 18% as of right now. So let's get right into it. SoFi Technologies, if you didn't know, is a fintech company or a financial technology company that essentially operates as a digital bank, and they just reached profitability for the first time. This puts them one step closer to achieving their CEO's goal of becoming one of the top 10 financial institutions, which is a great goal to have. In past videos, we predicted that they would reach profitability in the quarter which they just released earnings for. So not only did this prediction come through to fruition, it also caused the share price to absolutely explode in the positive direction. For the fourth quarter, SoFi Technologies brought in adjusted net revenue of $594.2 million, which crushed analysts' expectations to where they were anticipated to only bring in around $573.2 million. SoFi Technologies also released very impressive total deposit results to where SoFi reported $18.6 billion in total deposits. And this is a huge increase from a previous report to where they only had around $7.34 billion worth of deposits. So clearly this company is rapidly expanding just like we projected. Now the best part in all of this, which is causing the share price to rise in my opinion, is their forward forecast looking to 2026. From now until 2026, the firm expects at least 20 to 25% growth in their earnings per share every single year. So this is a very positive outlook for this company, and that's why the shares are exploding right now. It's currently worth around $9.18 to where they have already jumped 20% in their share price. Now clearly the stock will cool off after this and decrease in their share price by doing a healthy pullback, but it's great to see how our predictions actually came true, and I'm excited that investors 
investors are building more momentum behind this company. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Our next news story involves Tesla and AMD, which is going to be a positive development for both of these companies. AMD, also known as Advanced Micro Devices, has been shown great support from Elon Musk, to where Elon said, who is the CEO of Tesla, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which also specializes in artificial intelligence, energy storage, as well as energy generation, said that they will buy AMD chips to power their AI efforts at Tesla. So this is great news for AMD as well as Tesla. This news caused the AMD share price to jump by 1.8%, up to $180 and 44 cents. However, I anticipate that their momentum in their share price will increase as investors have time to digest this fantastic news. Tesla said that they are more than willing to buy AMD chips, while also spending more than $500 million on NVIDIA hardware as well. So this is very good news that AMD is getting before their fourth quarter earnings report, which will be released on Tuesday. The company also saw multiple stock price target upgrades. So remember, their current share price is $180. However, an analyst recently upped their price target to $210. So again, this should add more momentum to this stock. And if you recalled in a previous video, we anticipated that more growth momentum would happen in AMD, and that's exactly what we're seeing literally right now. So we're seeing yet another prediction come true. But we also see another analyst upgrade the price target for AMD from their original price target of $170 up to a price target or price prediction of $200 while reiterating his buy rating for this company. In the end, this is very good news for AMD as we see more growth and momentum in their share price and them getting business from companies like Tesla. And this is also good news for companies like Tesla, considering that Tesla will be using chips from both AMD as well as Nvidia to power their own artificial intelligence efforts. Next up, we have Palantir Technologies in the news, which is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. Palantir Technologies PLTR stock price is currently trading at $16.83 per share, and they're currently up almost 3% today. Palantir has had multiple positive news updates, considering that they have gotten their stock-based compensation under control, and the company's SPAC investments are actually returning some value to the company. Their SPAC investments also allowed them to further their research and development, and their concentration risk is extremely misunderstood, according to this article, for two main reasons. The first reason is that Palantir Technologies has a huge safety net considering that they have billions of dollars on their balance sheet and virtually no debt. Secondly, the company's top 20 clients, which is where they get the majority of their revenue from, have very strong customer retention rates, meaning that they are not at risk of dropping Palantir Technologies, so this adds safety to Palantir's revenue flow. Lastly, the author of this article says that Palantir Technologies and their PLTR stock is undervalued, so let me give a slight bit of criticism to this statement. This all comes down to what metrics and what accounting ratios you use to value Palantir. As an example, if we use their current financials, then no, Palantir Technologies is actually trading at a premium price right now and they are not undervalued. But I think this author is using their future growth projections to discount their current share price and market cap, which does make more sense because once you anticipate and add into the equation their future growth prospects, then yes, you could argue that Palantir is either fairly valued or undervalued. But I would highly encourage you to do your own research on this company because they are highly risky, but the future upside potential of this company is also massive. Now, for those of you who are dividend investors, feel free to look further into the pharmaceutical company named AbV because a William Blair analyst recently recently upgraded ABV to an outperform rating from their original market perform rating. So this is fantastic news. The reason for this rating upgrade for ABBV stock is because of their current attractive valuation and their setup to achieve a very prosperous long-term projection in regards to their financials. You should also take into consideration that ABV is set to report its Q4 2023 results on Friday, and they will give us more insight into their best-selling pharmaceuticals, which would include a variety of various options, including things like Botox. Analysts also keep the bullish momentum going by citing AbbVie's recent merger and acquisition deals. 
and these deals have strengthened the future prospects, projections, and forecasts regarding various types of diseases that AbbVie wants to treat and or cure. This company also has a pretty good growth and a strong dividend, so if you are a dividend investor, feel free to look further into this company. To round out the video, let's talk about the most pressing matters that you should be aware of right now. To start off, shares of Zim or ZIM Integrated Shipping Services jumped by nearly 10% in pre-market trading after a Jefferies analyst upgraded the stock to a buy rating from their original hold rating. This is clearly a shipping services company and they also have a very strong dividend and with this new upgraded rating we can see further momentum in their share price going forward. Now in less bullish news we also have iRobot. The ticker symbol for this company is IRBT and they have dropped more than 17% in their share price ahead of the opening bell. And iRobot is a Roomba vacuum cleaner maker and they recently called it quits on its planned takeover by Amazon, which is very detrimental to this company and stock. In short, Amazon wanted to acquire iRobot and recently it became scrapped due to regulatory approval challenges from the European Union. And because this acquisition deal did not go through, they had to cut 31% of their workforce. So this is very bad news for this company. In other news, Whirlpool, ticker symbol WHR, which is a home appliance company, which makes things and appliances such as dishwashers and washing machines is set to announce their quarter four 2023 results after the closing bell today to where Wall Street anticipates this company will earn $3.53 per share and revenue of $4.98 billion. Lastly, let's talk about one of my favorite stocks that I've been buying hand over fist for the last year and that is none other than Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI. This is an information technology hardware company which is set to release a report regarding their financials after the trading day has concluded. This stock has already been a massive winner, considering that investors are already up a whopping 246.2% since 2023 when we started to report on this company. So again, I would highly recommend you look into this company because there could be even a more growth waiting for this company in the future. And that would conclude today's video. Remember to go ahead and like this video right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.